final notice to Lara Croft, a current tenant of premises. This is to serve as your final notice for the purposes of terminating your ownership of Croft Manor. You are required to immediately vacate and surrender possession of said manor to Atlas de Mornay, executor of estates. Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter, but so be it. As you know, your parents appointed me executor of the estate in the event of their absence. Since your mother disappeared, her death was never technically declared. And given the circumstances surrounding your father's death, it's no surprise that he never drafted a formal last will and testament to account for this circumstance. Unfortunately, you have no legal claims to the estate. I'm willing to negotiate a modest monthly stipend from your trust, but only if you leave the manor by week's end. Don't fight me on this, love. Your mother wouldn't want that. Sincerely, Atlas. There has to be a will or some kind of evidence of what happened to Mum in the manor somewhere. Hmm, it's a combination. It's got to be in Dad's papers somewhere. Maybe in the library. My birthday crown. Hmm, <laughs> I was so proud of that thing. Well, this is a hell of a thing. I met someone tonight quite unexpectedly. But it shouldn't have been, it seems. I've been so buried in my work, so distracted by my latest revelations, I never bothered to notice my surroundings. But there she was. My parents made a good team, challenging each other from the start. Dad would have liked me to go to Oxford, but I insisted on UCL. <laughs> yep, looks real. Roth once offered to forge me a fake diploma to show Dad. A picture with Dad and Anna. Never liked wearing dresses, but the color was nice. This is probably my grandfather, Benjamin. One of Dad's Yoruba masks, a gift from a friend he met on an expedition in Nigeria. I finally introduced Richard to the family. It went precisely how I imagined. I see but polite grace from Mother indifference and disinterest from father, and thinly veiled contempt from Atlas. Of course they don't approve. To them, Lord Croft is the man who took away their beloved daughter and ruined her long-standing engagement. Though I was never going... It must have been hard for Mum to go against her family's wishes. I'm glad she did. Dad's map of the forgotten cities of northern Syria. He was closer than he knew to finding the Prophet's tomb. Dad's book about immortality myths might be useful in my research. to the library. Locked. Mm, there's got to be another way through. <laughs> this is the map I made for my first expedition with Dad. It shows a path to the library through the servants' passages. Dad's artifacts from the Nile Valley. I always love looking at these. Dad became interested in immortality myths after his expeditions to Egypt.
Wait, I can get to the library through the old servant's corridor. Too dark. Going to need a flashlight. Hi, Dad. I've been thinking about Mum lately. I wish I knew more about her. How did you meet? What was she like? Winston told me that she was a brilliant artist. Are some of her paintings locked up in the West Wing? And I guess I just want to know, did she love me, Dad? Did she ever say that she did? Maybe I'm just being silly, but will you tell me more about her the next time I'm home from school? There, Sir Lancelot. Don't worry, it won't be boring your sword this time. The Grand Hall. Always loved playing in here as a kid. This will be one of the first things to fix. A phoenix figurine. I bet this appealed to Dad's idea of immortality, of rising from the ashes and being born anew. Most of her belongings are in the guest house. What was she doing in here? Lara, you know the West Wing is off limits. I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to see. We've been through this. Was Mum's room in here? Just stay out of there. Locked. Need a key to open this. Dad was always so protective of the West Wing. What are you doing sitting there on the floor, Mistress Lara? Looking at the compass, thinking. What about, if I may inquire? Just thinking about... The author came in the post last week, and I still haven't told Richard. He flew ahead to Tibet, where I will meet him shortly. I never told him I was submitting my work. Never thought there was a chance of being accepted. Oh, but a gallery tour is not something I can pass up. The Discovering faraway places. About finding adventure. <laughs> I'm sure you will, my lady. You've the soul of an explorer. But don't grow up too fast. Got to remember to pack this for my next trip. Should be able to explore the dark now. Hmm, not sure. I really need to brush up on my ancestors one of these days. has reached Mother. She knows that you broke off your engagement with the Earl of Farringdon. She is beside herself with worry. But, for the moment, she's controlling the narrative. 
As far as anyone knows, you're just having innocent second thoughts. But the moment your affair with Lord Croft goes public, it will be too late. Our name will be as ruined as this man you've chosen to bed. Don't you see that you're being selfish, Amelia? Please, consider your family. You're a de Mornay. Everything you do has a greater effect on us all. I'm coming down to London soon. Don't do anything rash until we have a chance to talk. Falling apart. Maybe I should just let my uncle have this place. They say a good test of a relationship is how well you travel together. Well, I'd say Amelia and I have passed that test with flying colors. Indeed, these last few months in Egypt have... I'm not surprised he asked her to marry him as soon as he got the idea. Amelia, I know we have had our differences in recent years. I've tried my best to keep an open mind about your relationship with Richard, but I just can't let you go on this ill-conceived expedition without saying my piece. You say Richard's theories have merit. You say that he may have actually stumbled upon some mythic, unknown truth, but I have seen nothing to support such claims. And while your word may have been enough in times past, I cannot let you squander away what remains of your... Just as creepy as I remember. My lord, I hope this missive finds you on a successful expedition and in good health. Before I bore you with estate affairs, I wanted to let you know that our little angel has been into some mischief. Uh, Poor Winston. I remember being so angry. He was always so patient with me. I'm at a crossroads now. Good lord, that's such a cliché. But there's truth in it. Two roads before me. Both present joy and compromise. A life with Richard. Adventure, intellectual pursuit, perhaps a new family. But also a man obsessed with something I cannot understand. Or a life of obligation. Upholding the de Mornay name. King to Queen One. I'm going to win this time, Winston. <laughs> Clever girl. But you should... I would play chess with our old butler, Winston, on this board. Never could beat him. I always chose white. Maybe if I let him go first once in a while, I might have won. By now, winning isn't everything. Queen to King's Bishop Six. Check. Easy for you to say. You always win. Knight takes Queen. What I mean to say is try to enjoy the journey, Lara. Don't rush to victory. Bishop to King Seven. I know, Winston. I just want. Oh no! I didn't even see that! You should also know by now, I'm not to be trifled with on this board, young lady. Mate. Oh, I am going to win. Someday.
Everything is almost ready for Mistress Lara's birthday expedition surprise. It's been a bit of an all-hands-on-deck effort organizing the affair and keeping... loved a good bottle of wine. Hmm. I can still smell his favorite Bordeaux. Dad, this is it! The basement of despair! Indeed, Lara. Muster your courage, for this is the only path to the Library of Infinite Knowledge. Look there! See the string? Ancient Egyptian tripwire. The keepers of knowledge want none to disturb their treasures. We must tread carefully. Let me lead. I know how to spot all the traps. I'm sure you do, my darling. Lead on. <laughs> my stuffed bear. I couldn't have a tomb without a mummy. One of the wire traps Winston made for my birthday expedition. <laughs> Winston used my hair ribbons to make this. He and Dad put a lot of work into this birthday surprise. Hmm, water damage from the main hall above. to the manor. Dad used to say his granny hated all the bright lights. Hmm, there's a missing page. Amelia left tonight. She packed her suitcase and walked right out of here and I didn't even notice. Like those days in the Oxford Library before we even met, I just had my nose in a book lost in my own world. I am such a fool. I have let my obsession with this damned ritual of long life rule my better judgment for far too long, and it may already be too late. How could I have not seen this coming? I've made this mistake over and over, always putting my research before my personal life. But it's never hurt like this before. I simply cannot live without her. If I have to give up this accursed quest that has plagued me for so long, then so be it. I am going after her, right now, tonight. Okay, Dad's ledger has to be in here somewhere. Hopefully it has a combination. 